this. Terry Matthews is a, is a wonderful, wonderful woman that I met through Sister Circle. Um, we've been able to connect and bond and find this camaraderie. Did you see the ride? see my autism shoes. Oh, I need to touch them. We have the same mindset as far as getting autism awareness out there. And so I just, I knew that she was coming here for the Legoland event. She was able to pull it off. Um, it's for autism families to come and be in an environment where they're not judged, where their children can run free and not have to worry about sensory issues or anything like that. With Jaden's voice, I just wanted parents to understand not to lose hope. There is life after this diagnosis. What's that? A penguin. What's fun is to be able to bring Kingston to events and for him to share with other children. One of the things that children with autism suffer from are, is social skills. Um, so for him to be able to play with other kids and see other kids like him um, just running around and being free and other parents be receptive to him is important to me. When you have a child that has autism, you don't understand what the quality of his life will be. You don't understand the end of his story. So you have to have faith. Kingston really couldn't talk at first, but now he's in full-blown conversation. Um, he's writing sentences, he's reading, he's doing things that all kids do. So I choose to think Kingston's gonna come out of it. I choose to know that this is not a death sentence for him, and autism is what he has and not who he is. To get the, the news that he was diagnosed with autism, it hurt at first, but, um, I know with Selena, KJ, our other son, and uh, myself that Kingston would be able to get through because we always been fighters. And one of the things we didn't want to do is handicap him and just make him know that we're behind him and try to push him to the point where he gets better each time. I'm just happy that God has given me him. He's mine. He's He's an angel, he's special, and I'm very, very glad and I feel blessed and privileged that God chose me. Seeing my son go from talking to not speaking and then losing his voice for four years. Four years. Uh, I remember the first day he said, Mom. And when he did, I kept saying, say it again. Just say it again. And he didn't say it again. Um, it was very challenging to live with a kid who couldn't tell me anything. And now, after tons and tons of therapy, to now see my child be able to say, hey mom, I want some juice. I don't like that kind of sandwich. I never thought that this would happen. It's great to see that there was a change. And I know that's not every parent's story. Um, <laughs> Can you sit down? You just, <laughs> that's not every parent's story. And there was a time even cameras and lights, you know, nothing like this. Uh, but he's definitely evolved and he's changed and um, for the better. So I hope that our story gives other parents hope. It's Jaden's voice, Doc Orb. And if you want to log on and join everyone to this world, the world gave up on him. The diagnosis and the doctors around me said, just be happy he's here. And to see him interact with Kingston, I'm like, all right, God, let me get out the way. They almost gave up on my baby and they wanted me to give up too, but so glad I didn't. Say hi, Kiana. It was very important for me to come here and support Selena and Jaden's voice because I wanted her to know that she's not alone. It definitely opened my eyes to, to certain struggles and the lacks that they have in their community. He said when he would throw a tantrum, they would have to put a weighted vest on him yeah. just to get him to like stay oh, no. and, and like That's hold him no. down. It was insane. And those things are expensive. Autism doesn't care about your socioeconomic status, your gender, your ethnicity, your religion, your, your educational status. It doesn't care. It impacts everybody. What I do with my children, I talk to them about autism. I've always been a huge supporter of autism awareness. So when I met Selena and found out about Kingston, I was like, here's another baby that I can love on and support as well. So I'm really, really happy to be here. I just want Selena to know that she's enough and she's a great mom. When Kingston was first diagnosed, it was devastating. I felt like there, it was the end of the world. Now, when I, when I think of Kingston, I feel purposeful. 
I feel faithful. I feel obedience. I feel smarter. I feel special. I feel chosen.